Hi there, I want to talk a little bit today about doing some basic audio sweetening in Adobe Audition and also some tips on working with audio in Captivate as far as splitting up an audio file that's made for one slide or adding some audio that's already on a slide. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to record some audio to this slide like I would in Captivate. I'm going to go up under audio. I'm going to pick record to and I'm going to pick slide. I've already calibrated my microphone. It's ready to go. It knows I'm using the Logitech headset. I'm just going to go ahead and record the audio. Hi there and welcome to an overview of audio sweetening using Adobe Audition and also some audio tips within Adobe Captivate as far as splitting an audio file and also adding to an audio file. So we've got that recorded. Let me play. Hi there and welcome. And I'll play it. Welcome a to bit. an overview of audio sweetening using Adobe Audition and all and what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to take a look at this and what I would, should do at this point if the recording is what I want as far as the verbiage I should go through here and take out any parts of the audio that I don't want in there. So let me go up here to the edit panel and I'll drag my little invisible scroll bar here. Let me play a little bit. Let's see, I've got too much here. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to hit delete. I'm going to play the... Uh, Hi there and welcome to an overview of audio sweetening using Adobe Audition and also some audio tips. Okay, so I have a little area right here where I've taken a breath. Let's play that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not necessarily going to delete that because I want to keep the kind of the pacing going. I'm going to remind you that you can click on the silence button here. I'll click again. I'm going to play and look for another breath. And also some audio tips within. So I've got another one right here. Let me just highlight that really quick. Insert some silence there and continue to play. Within Adobe Captivate as far as... Here's a little bit of a lip smack. Take that out. Click here. Click play. Captivate as far as splitting an audio file. And here's another breath. And I'm just going to hit delete. Whoops, undo. Didn't want to delete that at all. I wanted to put silence over that. You'll notice as I'm up here in the upper left corner, I'm having my arrow on play and pause. I'm keeping that over there so as I work on this I can instantly stop and start it. So let me click and I'll play. And also adding to an audio file. And I'll highlight this little piece at the end and I can actually delete that. So now the audio, I've kind of taken out the breasts, the lip smacks and different things like this and I'm going to save it to my slide. Now I'm going to close this and now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this audio that's on my slide and I'd like to bring it over into Adobe Audition and kind of reduce some noise and what I call and what the industry calls sweetening. So I'm going to right click on that file I'm going to find it in the library. Now Captivate 8 has a bug if you have the library open and you do it and it kicks it off. So let me click on find the library again. And it highlights it right here. Up here I can play it. You know this from Hi there and welcome to an over... I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to pick Edit with Adobe Audition CC 2014. Now, if you have Audition on your machine, you may have to go to Edit with first and point Captivate to where the program of Adobe Audition lives. It may be in your program folder on Windows, it may be in your applications folder on the Mac. But this one already knows I have Audition on here and I've already pointed it towards that. So I'm going to pick Edit with Adobe Audition. It's going to link and take this file over into Audition. And don't be scared, 
If you don't work an audition, hang in there. We're going to make it really easy for you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here at the bottom of my screen and audition. There's a little horizontal bar here where I can get a split arrow. And I'm going to drag that up. And I'm going to reveal something that kind of looks like a campfire. And so what I'm going to do here is at the very, very beginning of my audio recording, I have a little space up here that's just not dead air, but ambient sound. It doesn't even contain my voice. So I've highlighted that, and I'm going to click play. Now you probably can't hear it, but it's the ambient noise in my office here. It's the fan. It's the heating. It's the noise of my computer fan. And what I want to do is I want to tell audition about this noise and I want it to remove it from my whole recording. So once I have that selected, I'm going to go up under effects and don't be nervous. I'm going to come down to noise reduction. I'm going to capture that little selected area without my voice as the noise print area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my whole audio track just by pressing and dragging across it. I'm going to go back to effects. I'm going to go back to noise reduction and I'm going to pick noise reduction process. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come down and I'm going to click on the play button in the lower left to preview it. Hi there and welcome to an overview of audio sweetening using Adobe Audition and also some audio tips with it. Okay, so there's a button down here that toggles this feature, this noise reduction, on and off. You probably can't hear much of a difference, but on your own materials, you will hear a distinct difference between the quiet areas and the voice. You won't hear that ambient fan noise or AC noise. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my entire track. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring down my spectral view of this, it's called, and I'm going to click up here and I'm going to highlight my audio track again. I got the whole thing. And now I'm going to go under my effects panel down to a very scary place called filter and EQ or equalization and come over to what's called parametric equalizer. And we're going to adjust kind of the uh, the gain or the volume in certain frequencies. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up under a preset up here, and I'm going to pick default. And that just gives me this level line, and this is actually going across the frequencies of my recording. Um, a gentleman on the web by the name of Larry Jordan, who's an excellent Final Cut Pro Adobe Premiere expert, he has some tips on how to warm up a voice and improve the dictional quality of the sound of, your vo of the voice. So what he suggests, and I'll put this on the screen, is you come over here around the 200 megahertz, or excuse me, 200 hertz range of the frequency. And for men, he suggests you run this up at between 3 and 5 dB, or decibels. I'm going to bring this up maybe, oh, how about three and a half or so? How about four? And I'm going to play this, and I'm going to toggle it off and on. So I'm going to play with it on. Hi there, and welcome to an overview of audio sweetening using Adobe Audition, and also some audio tips within Adobe. So that sounds much better. I, the voice doesn't sound so hollow. And I know I'm in an open space, so there's some echo. But the voice itself sounds a little warmer. So he suggests doing that around the 200 hertz range, a gain of about 4 decibels for men. Same amount for women, between 3 and 5 decibels, but... You'll want to move this hertz number here over to around 400 hertz. And you can do that just by dragging on this and slowly dragging across that number to about 400 hertz. And that's what you should do and check it for a lady's voice. Now I'm going to bring that back to 200. So 200 for men, 400 for ladies, and then between uh, 3 and 5 decibel change. 
Now that improves the warmness of the voice. He also has a suggestion. He also has a suggestion for diction. So around the 3000 hertz range, right around in here, I can come over here and I can type in 3000. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to gain up the frequency here. I'm going to bump it between 4 and 6 dB. So I'm going to bring this up, we'll say, to around 4, 4.5 or so, and I'm going to check it. Here's going to be on. I'll be captivating as far as splitting an audio file and also adding to an audio file. Hi there, and welcome to an overview of audio sweetening using... So it just improves the kind of the crispness of the voice. It's a little bit easier to understand the verbiage. And again, there's a different range for ladies than men. Men, it's around 3,000 hertz. We'd make a change on ladies' voices somewhere around the 4,000 hertz. So you just change the number up here to 4,000 and then make your dB increase. Okay, so this is just a couple of tips to do noise reduction, warm up a voice, and improve the dictional quality of the audio. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Next thing I'm going to do here is because this is the file actually opened up from within Captivate over into Audition, we're linked to it, I'm going to quit Captivate, save changes, and this will update back in Captivate. And I'll say yes. So now this is going to quit Audition, and it's going to come back into Captivate with the new improved uh, file. So now here I'm back in Captivate. That audio file has now been updated and it's on this track and I can play it. Hi there and welcome to an overview of audio. Okay, now my Captivate tips for audio. There may come a time when you record a piece of audio for a specific slide and you get into Captivate and you discover it's just too long of a duration of a slide. There's just too much stuff we have to cover with this voiceover. So I'm going to split this audio so I can use it across a couple of slides. And there's different ways to do this. Here's the, here's the way I kind of use. I'm going to click on the audio waveform on my timeline. I'm going to right click. I'm going to find it in the library. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to right click on that audio. And I'm going to export out that whole audio clip to the desktop. And I'll leave it as a name of, let's say, Recording 2. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to Slide 2. And I'm going to go Audio, Import, to Slide. Now you know what I'm doing. I'm bringing in that whole edit, uh, exported audio to this slide. So now this is on Slide 2. So let's go to slide one. Uh, I'm going to double click on the audio. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to change my zoom level down. I'm going to play it and I'm going to determine what part of this audio I want to keep and what part I want to get rid of. Hi there and welcome to an overview of audio sweetening using Adobe Audition. So I'm going to say that's the amount I want on this slide. So I'm going to delete this portion, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to close it. Make sure you kind of bring your slide duration down if you need to to match your audio, because it was way extended for the original piece. Now I'm going to go over to slide two. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to double click on this, and this one, I'm going to change my view down, and we know that we don't want this first part because that is being used on slide one. So I'm just going to delete that. So now I'm going to close this and save it. And now this is on this slide. So that's an easy way to take a longer piece of audio if you need to, to split it to move it across a couple of slides. You just take the original audio, export it out, bring it to the two slides, and then just delete the portions you want, don't want on one slide, and the portions you don't want on their slide, delete those. 
Now, one last thing. Let's say you want to add to a slide. So let's say I'll go on here on slide two, and I want to add a piece of audio here at the beginning that's already been recorded. Well, I can either um, go to my library and find the piece, and also some... Nope, not that one. Let's see this one. Hi there, and welcome to an overview of... Yeah, that's the one I want to put on there. So I can just go ahead and click OK. And then that's been added to this slide. So it's pretty easy once you get used to splitting up an audio file and also combining an audio file. Now, here's a little tip. If you had to add some brand new audio, remember you would probably go to a part of your Captivate project. Maybe you make a blank slide, record the audio to it, edit out the lip smacks and the breaths, then bring that into Captivate and perform the same sweetening you did before, and then use that audio. So remember, if you're going to add some brand new audio, because you went in there and sweetened it and noise reduced it, You've got to do the same thing to that new audio or it won't match. So don't forget to do that. And I'll click yes and I'll close. So I hope these tips were helpful. If you have any questions about this, I sure can help you. Why don't you go ahead and give me an email at mark, M-A-R-K, at easelsolutions.com. Thank you.